Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jerry Wheeler, and I'm President and CEO of your Huntington Beach Chamber of Commerce. And we are here ending a beautiful week here in Surf City, USA, at the uh, Southern California Edison Hamilton Street substation uh, to really acknowledge and celebrate the great work they have done in uh, renovating and completely redoing the landscaping here at this property. Kind of an indication what I think they're doing uh, elsewhere uh, in Southern California Edison territory, but here, right here in Huntington Beach, a prime example of uh, taking, uh, being sustainable, taking uh, uh, great care of the environment and reintroducing native species. Uh, I'm, I'm stealing the thunder here from uh, from Southern California's rep representative, Janelle Bader. I'm going to let her share exactly what went on here today and, and what we're celebrating. Janelle? Thank you, Jerry, and thank you to everyone for coming out this afternoon. Uh, thank you to all the Huntington Beach residents that have uh, lived around the Huntington Beach substation. I know you've probably driven by for many, many years and seen a grassy knoll and for Almost a year you've seen some fences being put up and we've been uh, working some magic back here. We've actually transformed what used to be a grassy knoll into a sustainable landscape. Uh, this all began with the City of Huntington Beach's Environmental Committee, Jeff Kaufman to my right, who approached me with a coffee meeting and said, hey, we have an idea for Edison to be sustainable, to change its landscaping, reduce its water and impact to the environment. Are you interested? So I teamed up with some folks within Edison and we thought, yeah, actually we can do this. So I encourage you to come by our substation, come take a look around and look at the environmentally conscientious landscaping. Um, you will see that we used to spend over two million gallons of water annually. We've now reduced our water intake by 65%. We now have beautiful California Mediterranean native landscaping. So come on by, drive by, take a look, and I'll pass it off to Greg. Thank you, Janelle. Um, on behalf of Surfrider Foundation, we wanted to congratulate Southern California Edison Company for embracing a sustainable landscape here at their substation and for using our standards of conservation, permeability, and retention for conserving the amount of water and pesticides used, uh, retaining uh, rainwater on site, and creating a permeable surface for the rainwater to soak into. This uh, landscape that you see here is not only saving water, but it's saving our ocean water quality as well. So number one source of water pollution is urban runoff, and this site is going to prevent a lot of that from reaching our storm drains and oceans. So um, to talk a little bit more about that, I'm going to pass it to Jeff Kaufman, who also has contributed a very cool piece of technology to this project. Well, thank you, Greg. Um, the technology he's talking about is a, a patent that we just received about two months ago called a high-performance bioswale. It takes cartridges uh, and filter media and targets the pollutants uh, running off of the streets and uh, the uh, parkways and uh, keeps the ocean clean. But uh, what I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about was I'm just really excited that this all happened. It seems like it's been several years um, and we had some great partners. Um, uh, everybody from uh, Metropolitan Water and Metropolitan Water of Orange County uh, Southern California Edison, uh, we've got Surfrider, Clean Green Technology, uh, Site Design, Mariposa, uh, the Landscape Contractor, um, Chamber of Commerce, and Rainbow. If I forgot somebody, I apologize, but it's been a great collaboration, and uh, I'm very proud of what we've done. And um, uh, here's Joe Berg from the Metropolitan Water District of Orange County. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, we're real excited to be a part of this project. It, the timing for this project could not be better as we're right now in the fourth year of a pretty critical drought in California. So this is a very highly visible site that everybody drives by here on Brookhurst. So when you're coming by, take a look. This is something you can do at your home. So we look forward to that uh, to help us continue to save water and have a sustainable landscape. Well, thank you all. I, I, I think what's, what's great, not only just to look at this and see what it is all about, but again, you've mentioned it more than once, partnerships. 
the ability for uh, the business community to work closely together with uh, our nonprofits and our, specifically our nonprofits who are very conscious of our environment, I think is an excellent collaboration. And this is a prime example of how it can actually work to the benefit of everybody. So, uh, hats off to Edison, to all the nonprofits involved, and uh, we're pleased to be a part of this, uh, this wonderful celebration for you. And there are a lot of folks that actually want to uh, also say, you know, congratulations and uh, to applaud you for what you've done. Um, I'd like to recognize the fact that we have uh, a couple of our city council folks here. We have our mayor, who's going to speak in just a second, Mayor Jill Hardy. We also have uh, Barbara Del Glades from the city council. And we have a couple of our planning commissioners here. Dan Kelmick is here. Dan, wave in the back. And we've got Ed Pinchiff holding up a ribbon, I think. So uh, the, he's also with us. So uh, the city well represented here today, and we'll talk about some other folks in a minute. But first, I'd like to introduce our mayor, Jill Hardy, to say a few words. Thank you. I want to say a great thank you to all of the groups involved. It's really an amazing partnership between nonprofits, businesses, the city of Huntington Beach. Thank you to our environmental board for getting this started. Southern California Edison for saying thank yes, thank you, instead of, well, let me think. And um, Surf Rider Foundation for really making, putting it all together and making it happen. Um, you know, it's so important to be saving water, to be making sure that the runoff we have is as clean as possible before it goes in the ocean. And if you come drive by, the best thing about this is that it's another example of how beautiful saving water can be. So please come by. Um, the Edison substation on Brookhurst near Hamilton, because again, it's a great example that we're very proud of in Huntington Beach. We, as you know, uh, Janelle, uh, represented by two assembly districts here in uh, Huntington Beach, and uh, representing Travis Allen today is Michelle Schutz. Thank you, Jerry. Hi, Janelle. On behalf of Assemblyman Travis Allen of the 72nd Assembly District, we want to thank you, number one, personally, because you are so awesome to our community. And we do notice it and we really appreciate it. And we want to thank SoCal Edison and all your partners. Every time the city comes to you um, and asks for anything or anyone in the city comes and asks, you and SoCal Edison always say yes and you're a huge part of our community. So this is beautiful. Congratulations and thank you. And representing our Assemblyman Matt Harper is Chris Walsh. Chris. Thank you, Jerry. Well, on behalf of Assemblyman Matthew Harper, we just wanted to congratulate you on taking the initiative on a project of sustainability like this. You know, with the extreme drought conditions, it's really important that we save as much water as we can. And we really hope to see more projects like this uh, filling throughout the, the entire 74th District and Orange County. So on behalf of Assemblyman Harper, we'd just like to present you with this certificate of recognition and to say, keep up the good work. So, we've kind of thrown down the gauntlet here, you know, uh, as, as a business in the business community to actually say, okay, we've done it, we've shown you how you can do it, now everybody else can do it too, follow suit. So, uh, it's kind of a call to action for all of us in the business community out there to uh, follow suit and do what we can to uh, match what's happened here at uh, the Hamilton Street substation. It can work, it can be beautiful, you can be con uh, conser conservation-minded and uh, protect our resources and our oceans. So um, this is all good stuff. I'm glad we're all a part of it. Uh, I just want to say on behalf of my board of directors, um, personally, what a great partner you, Janelle. We, we know that you've got ex exciting things ahead of you, but uh, you represent Southern California Edison quite well, and you've been a great friend for Huntington Beach. You will, you will be missed. <laughs> 